Hey guys, welcome back. First of all, happy new year to everybody. And today, we're back in the garage and the engine's coming out. So I have the engine crane here. Uh, pretty much everything's ready to go. I just have to disconnect the exhaust, uh, the motor mounts, and I'm also gonna remove the hood just to get more clearance. So we'll actually start with the hood and then I'm gonna go under the car uh, remove the exhaust, remove, there's one motor mount, uh, the rear motor mount that has to be accessed from below. So I'm going to remove that, then I'm going to drop the car back on its wheels, uh, hook up the engine crane, and then we'll pull it out basically. So let's get started. So to remove the hood, there's four 10 millimeter bolts, two on each side right here at the hinges. So let's remove those. camera I disconnected the exhaust and I also removed the rear motor mount so this is the rear mount three bolts hold it in all right so the car's back on the ground the wheels are on uh, of course I have to put it on these little ramps because I wouldn't have been able to get the jack out um, but now we have quite a bit more height to actually remove the engine so with the rear mount removed you can see how much this how much play is in here. So before removing uh, this mount here, I wanna actually get the crane set up and uh, put some pressure on it so that when I remove the mounts, the engine doesn't just fall, obviously. So let's get the crane set up. The crane is in position, it uh, just fits at the door. I had to actually open the door to get it in there. I can't get it closer to the car because it's hitting the, con the lower control arms at these uh, yellow legs here so it's pretty good the way it is uh, this is pretty much right over our um, our hook location so I'm gonna set up I have a load leveler I'm gonna set that up I'll put you guys on a tripod for that So the load leveler is all set up, uh, it's, I used shackles going through uh, the, the factory uh, lift points. So basically I have a little bit of tension on here, I'll just add a little bit more. There we go. Now that's under tension, so I can actually start removing the mounts now. What I'm going to do for this front one, I have to remove the starter, uh, the bolts that go through here come out on this side and they actually hold the bracket. Uh, I think if I just remove it from the frame, it's probably going to get in the way. So I'm just going to remove the starter, it's two bolts anyways.
I removed the bolt that went uh, through the middle of this motor mount here. I was going to try to take the bracket off. I got um, this nut off, but then when you actually push the bolt, it hits the frame rail. So I can't actually get it out. So hopefully this won't be too much in the way um, when I actually start lifting. Uh, the plan, because of the transmission, is to lift that end higher and have the tranny lower and kind of pull it on an angle. So basically the front mount is out, that mount is out, the only one left is on that side and that's the hardest one to get to. So let's take that one out and then we'll be ready. Okay, so I've been messing around with this uh, motor mount here for a couple hours now. Um, the bolt, the light here, the bolt is right, right here and it spins but uh, it's just spinning in nothing essentially. I've got a sawzall with a metal blade so I'm basically just gonna cut the bolt right out. I'll end up getting a new one. Checked online, they're only about, they're a couple dollars each, so not too big of a deal. I wanna get this out. Okay, so as you can see, that worked. The bolt is cut and the motor mount's actually out. So basically, there's nothing holding this in now. We're ready to bring her up. Just open the garage door because I have to actually wheel it out to get it over here. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so got the engine over here. I do have an engine stand. I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna have to take the tranny off and everything. So uh, pretty much that's what we got to work with. So. Basically in here, I'll be just cleaning everything up basically and uh, remove like the AC lines, remove the lines going to the heater. Uh, basically just clean this up and then the engine, we're actually gonna uh, dismantle it completely probably and basically check everything inside, see if, uh, see if it's even worth rebuilding. So that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this wasn't as long of a video. I'll try to keep the videos a little bit shorter. Uh, I think it'll be better for me and better for everybody watching as well. And try to make uh, more videos that are more kind of specified to one thing or specific to one thing rather. Got the engine out, ready to work on it. Gonna get it mounted on the engine stand and uh, we'll be able to start cleaning up inside here and uh, doing a couple things, probably remove the power steering rack. Uh, replace that with a manual one I'm thinking and like I said just remove a bunch of crap we don't need anymore so once again thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time